Hello, everybody. Welcome to another X-Ray House Show. My name is JBJ. I am host of a program here on X-Ray FM called Hello Cruel World, where I present singer-songwriters in a uh, live format, typically. It's been a long time since I've done one of those. That's why we're so pleased to be bringing you tonight Sally Ford and Mike Kirkendall. Here at X-Ray FM, our mission is to hold up a microphone to the best and most distinctive of Portland. We aim to build a culturally relevant center of ideas, music, and creativity in service of a more open media and in service of a more, more just community. Uh, you can find X-Ray at 91.1 FM and 107.1 FM, 107 FM, and online at xray.fn. FM, you can find my show, Hello Cruel World, Thursday afternoons from 3 to 4, also here on X-Ray. Uh, we're in an unusual time right now. I don't need to tell you that, but uh, the idea behind this house show series is to find a way to bring uh, musicians and their community together somehow we're doing this online uh and x-ray fm is is helping that along by directly supporting the artists and uh, with the sponsors making sure that the artists get paid uh, we'd like to give some thanks now to those sponsors falcon arts community for one uh dave doll and wanamaker vineyards uh you are not exempt from uh, participating in this. We will be putting up a link tonight at the bottom of this Zoom meeting uh, where you can make donations. There will also be a link in the YouTube feed in the comments and also in the Facebook video. Uh, any, any donations tonight go to the uh, specified charity of the artist choice, in this case, the NAACP. And... Uh, as an added bonus, all uh, donations tonight will be entered into a drawing to win some wine from one of our sponsors, Wanamaker Vineyards. Uh, so please give and give generously. Again, the link will be uh, featured down in the bottom of the uh, screen and also over on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, I have talked more than enough. Let's get down to business with uh, the opening act for or tonight's X-Ray FM house show. He is, uh, he's hails from Kansas City, Missouri, I believe. I hope I get that right, Mike. Uh, I've been living in Portland for a long, long time. Chances are good that, uh, that you have heard his production work on many a record, and I've seen him on TV a few times uh, playing in the background uh, during M Ward performances. So I'm um, here for you. Mike Kirkendall. Hello. My name is Mike Kirkendall. I'm playing here on X-Ray. It's a lovely Friday. And uh, strum about five tunes maybe here for you. Sally Ford's going to play a set right afterwards. So it's good to be somewhere playing, even if it's in the, if it's in the attic. I don't want to leave my house today Just look out my window Lovers falling from the sky They didn't want to keep it up Reach for you and I So they sent it down here while we slept last night I didn't want to 
keep it out Reach for you and I So they sent it down here while we slept last night Storybooks are stashed away You can't see them If you could use one Come on down Come on down now, lovers falling Lie around on the ground, don't be late It's a grand occasion for the big guy To shake the world up like a snowy paperweight I just looked out my window Love has fallen from the sky It was a great old song, 1989. I've recorded it a few times. It's called Love Has Fallen. Pretty old one too. Two thousand. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams come back to sleep. Feel twice as good as you do now. Up all night, all my life, shining down on the moonlit fields of brown. Although I just look around, we can't be lost. We were never. Shining down on the moonlit fields of brown, painted names on gold rush towns. Where have you gone? Where are you now? Where I get stoned every night Trying to get it right It's pays take a look in for a light You, you wear your heart by your sleeve You try to disbelieve Thing is, if I 
but who die will take flight. Sit back and I stare at the screen Arise a dream machine Down to where the holy waters flow Cold craters wait on the moon Get me there and soon Cause I don't Feel this way no more Run away, run away. 
Searching in the sun for another Thanks for listening. Stay well, stay safe, do good work. Have a few laughs. Be nice to yourself and to everybody else. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to turn it over to Sally Ford, and she's probably going to rock you hard. I don't know. I'm going to look forward to seeing it. So stay tuned. Hey, now we are back. <laughs> you just heard me move my mouth around a lot and no subtitles and no audio. That was a set from Mike Kirkendall. Mike, thank you so much for that wonderful set. I love Space Baker Blues. You can find that on Mike's most recent record, Half Past Present Pending. It's on Fluff and Gravy Records. And Mike hails from Norwich, Kansas, not from Kansas, Sally Ford. Uh, we are taking your donations tonight. Uh, 
During the performances, you'll see a link at the bottom of the screen, bit.ly dot x-ray house shows. All donations tonight will be going to the NAACP. And you'll also be entered in a drawing to win wine from the Wanamaker Vineyards. And uh, it, I'm being told that the deliveries are going to happen during the show, if you can believe that. So, uh, so make sure to give and give generously. Uh, donations going to the NAACP, and you'll be entered in a drawing to win uh, wine from the Wanamaker Estate Vineyards. All right, we have come to the headline portion of the show. Uh, it's such a thrill to bring up this next artist to your screen. Uh, Sally B. Ford uh, and the Sound Outside, many records uh, with her and that band. Uh, these days, she's been recording solo. Her latest record is called Soul Sick. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I present to you Sally Ford. You're on X-Ray. Sally Ford, thanks for tuning in to the X-Ray live stream here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of do some stripped down stuff. Trying to work on myself Trying 
screwed that one up a little more than I was planning to. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, I was going to do a uh, Lucinda Williams cover. <clears throat> I know I shouldn't, but I want you so bad. I know it couldn't be. Joining the show. <laughs> He's my little quarantine friend. Um, let's see here. What was I gonna play?
gonna do some older ones.
maybe I'll do this one that uh, I have a project with my sister called the Barbaras with Wheezy Ford. Uh, sometimes we do this silly one, <laughs> but I wrote.
Ooh, cool. Alrighty. Uh, I just got a couple more. Yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Um, some of the money today that's donated uh, is going to go to ACLU and to Don't Shoot Portland and to the NAACP Portland. Um, so yeah, you can donate or donate to one of those causes. <clears throat> thanks so much to X-Ray for having me today. something real just give me something honest this generation it lives on lies it lives on fake when you give up reality that's the first mistake Doki, uh, I just got one more here. That was um, that was an older one. That was from uh, Untamed Beast. <laughs> uh, here's a new one. I was gonna do a little fun, fun one. I should probably tune hook. Button and mail yourself to me. I go 
where are you going? I'm trying to find my heart. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm good. I've got it. <laughs> I was doing the same thing, actually, but uh. There we go. <laughs> Chase, where are we at? Oh, we're live. Oh my gosh. Okay. Sally. What are, hi. hi, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, you know, it, uh, hold on, let me make sure. That, uh, okay. Uh, I just want to make sure my mic was on. Uh, it was really a no-brainer to invite you to do this. You were one of the first artists that I saw doing instagram videos from your bedroom once once we were all shut in oh. uh those performances were some of the first that i saw so uh like i said it was really a no-brainer to uh invite you to come on today and, and play and i i'm so glad that you invited mike to uh join you as as the opening act yeah yeah his his sounded cool i thought so too um it's kind of a, like it I feel like this is the first time we're seeing you play solo acoustic, really. Or maybe I don't get out enough, but uh, after seeing so many band shows, and uh, typically you you're usually electric and you usually have people behind you. So it's kind of a treat to see you just play solo acoustic. I feel like that's not a typical thing. Yeah, I mean, I was a little nervous. I was, I was gonna try to like do some other stuff, uh, like maybe play drums and and sing and play guitar or something. But I thought, you know, may as well- All at the same time? Yeah, I have some of those on my Instagram. <laughs> like Mike, the, Mike does that, right? Yeah, Mike. I did it inspired by Mike. <laughs> I would just keep it simple because I don't know. I it was harder to do than I thought. Like just to be ready to play a bunch of songs all in a row, and and because it's and it's weird without an actual live audience. But I could feel the energy, you know. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it. Uh... It just makes me wonder, like, how much do you play acoustic versus electric? Uh, I don't really play it that much. I bought uh, an acoustic guitar maybe like two months ago from Black Book Guitars. Um, it's a really awesome uh, guitar shop, and yeah, I just I just wanted something to yeah make some live videos with and experiment around, and because I sold most of my guitars in the last couple of years to pay for drums, um, I have like just one guitar left. Wow. Um, but it was the best one. The other ones I wasn't too attached to, but yeah, I sold like two guitars, and then so I thought I would buy one more, and um, and maybe I'll buy a bass next. <laughs> oh. Well, I feel like um, after the last solo record that you've just been having a lot of fun. Like there's the the t talking to Johnny record where you're you're playing drums on on that thing, and uh, and then the Walker Burgess. Tell tell us about a little bit about uh, both of those projects, actually, Walker Burgess and uh, talking to Johnny. Yeah, Walker Burgess was like this jam project I had with a former bandmate, um, A. Walker Spring. She was in my like all lady lineup that I had um, a few years ago. She was the drummer for that band. And I knew she was into like recording and stuff. And so I thought she would have fun just like letting me play the drums. And we recorded on four track cassette and then it made a little five song EP. I did play some guitar on that EP. Um, and then the Talking to Johnny, that's kind of what led to Talking to Johnny, oh, that band. Uh. Cause her and I had been playing and then I was telling her about how I wanted to start like a new punk band kind of thing, or just like a more rockin' kind of version of, than what I've done before and start a new band name for it and everything. I think I even had the band name because it's like an inside joke with my family. <laughs> but, um, but it's which it's like, it, which it means uh, smoking the uh, all right. my it's inside a, code word. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm um, gotta go talk to Johnny. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, uh, do you do you see that stuff as a, as a part from your career or is it all one thing? Oh, it's all one thing. I mean, the funny thing is I used to criticize um, 
people that would start over and have like a new band name. I was like, why can't they just keep doing it? And it doesn't really matter. But it is a refreshing thing to just like say, you know what? I'm going to start a new band. I'm not going to play any of my other songs. This is totally separate. And I think it was like what I needed. I don't really know if I would have felt the same about music right now if I hadn't done that. Because I think I was pretty over it and like over playing all like shows and having to play all my old stuff. I mean, it was fun playing with the sound outside and then I'd play like songs I hadn't played in five years, but. Um, yeah, that yeah. was that was another great thing was to, was to see you get the band back together and then play, play those shows. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it had been a while. Yeah, so I mean, I think it's just like, I'm always trying to experiment and find new ways to get excited about music. Um, these days, my favorite, uh, my new exploration is in like lo-fi recording. Um, I'm doing like uh, acapella kind of recordings, like with all vocals on. Um... Yeah, Little Birdie told, told me that you held on to that four track. Oh yeah, yeah, I have a four track too. <laughs> <laughs> and I haven't done any four track recordings yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> To, well, so far I got Logic Pro and I do love all analog stuff, but actually the Logic Pro was pretty fun. I was like, oh man, I, sh I, sh I could get stuck here for a little bit. And um, and then I got my Omnicord fixed and I've been messing oh, around with that. Um, I have seen some of those videos with the Omnicord. Oh uh, yeah, so I made like a song with that. And then, I mean, the goal though would be to like make some really lo-fi stuff with the four track and um, then dump it in into Logic Pro and do sounds stuff fun. like that, so. Yeah, so we have, it sounds like we have yeah. a, lot, a, lot of, a lot to look forward to. Oh yeah, I mean, the sound outside, we had a couple little songs we might, we've been sitting on, we might put out, but. Fun. I'm kind of just tr trying to take the time to sit back and educate myself and let others' voices shine to the top and like others. You for know? sure, for sure. Um, uh, uh, I can't let you go without asking some sort of quarantine question. <laughs> yeah. So what What have you learned about yourself during this time? Uh, oh, man. Um, I, some Someone just asked me this today. Too, what so. will be your takeaway? <laughs> and I said, um, well, and I had another thing that I added to it, but I think what I was saying is like, I've gotten sort of used to feeling more uncomfortable because I'm spending a lot of time alone, which I'm not used yeah. to. And I think that uh, not labeling emotions are as good or bad and be accepting the array of emotions um, and trying to learn ways to soothe myself and, and be there for myself. And, um, but then also the thing I remembered after that was uh, nature. You've been spending a lot of time <laughs> in nature? I grew up in the woods. And so, yeah, I think every time, like if there's a week where I don't really get out of the house enough, um, yeah, I find I don't feel as good. So if I go on a hike and we, like living here is uh, a gift to be, to be able to go and find secret hikes and stuff and um, just get outside and go camping. That's kind of my goal for the next couple sure. months. It's just outdoorsy, get back to my roots of nature. What about you? Oh, man. You know, uh, self care. Yeah. You talk a little bit, but the self care is so important. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I've always struggled a little bit with you know feeling down or blue. Uh, I have to watch that more often. But uh, yeah. I, now that I'm not commuting to work every day, I have time to to walk and uh, get out of the house in the mornings before I start work. And I, I found I've started really leaning into that. I really need that time for for my own sanity, really, to be honest. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, and then just tons and tons of music. Like I listened to a lot of music before, but I feel like I have more time now to devour music than ever before. So. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks well, again for having me, and thanks. Man, for thank you so much. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, I just talked over you. Oh no, no, I was just saying, yeah, thanks to everyone that donated, and um, and to the other folks that were. I heard there. Who was it that donated to the 
x-ray causes just the aclu thing there was some donor. yeah uh, chase chase will put the link back up on the screen but the the url is bitly dot x-ray house shows uh the donations tonight are going to the uh, naacp portland and um there's some sort of drawing for for wine i don't know how much wine but i've heard that the delivery is going to happen like live uh sometime tonight so if you donated and your doorbell rings uh don't ignore it it may be somebody with wine you're gonna want to open the door and let them in <laughs> that sounds cool for sure <laughs> uh sally thanks so much again yeah thank you <laughs> I want to thank uh, I want to thank the artists that played tonight, uh, Sally Ford and Mike Kirkendall. I want to thank uh, Chase Bross for the technical help. I want to thank uh, Jennifer for helping me out with all things X-ray show. Uh, please uh, follow X-ray on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We still have some more uh, X-ray house shows coming up later on this summer. And uh, before I let you go, there's also an X-Ray app, of course. So uh, go to the uh, Android store, go to the, go to the uh, Apple store, and download the X-Ray app. You need all these things to survive the quarantine, COVID-19. Please wear a mask. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's time to wake up. Nobody likes to hear those words, right? We all want to sleep just a little bit longer. A new day can be as daunting as it is exciting. Five years ago, we started X-Ray FM, a radio station driven by purpose and community. X-Ray shared some of Portland's trademark quirkiness. It seemed like fun. And it has been fun. We played music, discussed the news, and won a few prizes. We've highlighted some wonderful people and done some beautiful and stupid stuff. The weather's gotten warmer in five years. Reading the news has become a chore. Our quirky city has changed too. Or maybe the hard parts just became more obvious to those of us who have the privilege to ignore them. And these days, it doesn't feel like we're doing nearly enough. We're proud of what's been built. Grateful to our community. Even a bit amazed we still exist. But the stakes have changed. Radio isn't something that most people think about these days. It's something we listen to in the car as we rush from place to place. It's how we discover a new local band kick off our heels after work, or share a moment of anger at something f***ed up in the news. One person's voice can impact the world. It can spark a fire, inspire change. A voice can spread a message across a city, a country, or from one generation to the next. We want to give people a voice. Through radio and podcasts, playlists and partners, live sessions and videos. We want to highlight the moving, the silly, the insightful, the challenging, and the beautiful things you'll love and probably some things you won't we want to create and help others create we want to give a microphone to the musicians who fuel our souls who wants a revolution where you can't dance we want to strengthen our community one of the things we've loved about portland is that you don't need to be rich to belong or be fashionable to fit in it's a place where the activist can be cooler than the consumer we want to give voice to those values so, we hope you'll join us for the next five years. Be part of our band of artists and activists and misfits who make our place special. Because at X-Ray, you belong.